الحمد لله رب العالمين الله سبحانه وتعالى سد القرآن وسارعوا إلى مغفرة من ربكم وجنة وجنة عرضها السماوات والأرض عدة للمتقين الله سد حسن and run towards forgiveness from your Lord and a Jannah that is as big as the heavens and the earth then Allah says أُعِدَّتْ للمتقين Allah has prepared this Jannah for the pious ones Ya Allah who are these pious ones that you have prepared this Jannah for them who are these Ya Allah tell us Ya Rabbi who are these Subhanallah you can imagine many things you can say when you speak about the pious ones you we have a list, all of us. Allah tells us, who are these pious ones? Number one, الَّذِينَ يُنْفِقُونَ فِي السَّرَّاءِ وَالضَّرَّاءِ Those who spend in a time of hardship or in a time of ease. Because subhanAllah, in good time, it's okay, you can give. But even in the most difficult times. Because when you give, you don't give because you have. When you give, you give because you rely on Allah. Allah is the most given. And subhanallah, Abdullah ibn Ja'far al-Tayyar, the cousin of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa the son of Ja'far al-Tayyar, used to be very generous, very, very generous. So people said to him, look, you are just wasting your money, given here, given here, given here. He was spending it in khair, by the way, not in uh, lavish and nonsense things. He was just keep giving people. So people said, you have to save. He said, I'm used to Allah's generosity. And people are used to my generosity. If I stop giving people, Allah will stop giving me. So Allah, from the first attributes of the pious ones that Allah has prepared Jannah for them, Allah said those who give in a time of hardship and a time of ease. And if someone can give in a time of hardship, absolutely that person will give in a time of ease. So this is number one, the first attribute. The second attribute, those who control their anger. La ilaha illallah. And that is not an easy thing to do. That's why Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, when the man came, he said, Ya Rasulullah, awsini, tell me, what, what, what shall I do? He said, do not get angry. Okay, I've got that, Ya Rasulullah. Tell me, what can I do? He said, don't get angry. Okay, I've got that. Then, Ya Rasulullah, third time, said, don't get angry. Because when we are angry, we cannot think right. We might say things that we regret. We might do things that we regret. That's why, subhanAllah, Allah said, from those that Allah has prepared Jannah for, the second attribute is to control your anger. And because anger is from shaitan. And that's why Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa said, the most powerful, the most strongest people are not those who defeat people and overpower people. He said, those are those who control their anger. And then Allah said, وَالْعَافِينَ عَنِ النَّاسِ And those who forgive people. And to forgive is not easy. It is very difficult. But you get reward for that. And that's why, subhanAllah, yani, uh, that is what we do if we want Allah to forgive us. If you want Allah to forgive, you have to forgive. And you have to really struggle in to, to do that. If you can, then say, Ya Allah, make it easy for me to forgive. Because Allah loves those who forgive. And, and what is the seerah of our Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa Imagine coming to Mecca. And he looks all these people that have been harassing the Sahaba, killers, saying a lot of evil things. And then he, he asks them a question, what do you think I'm going to do to you? They say, you are the best brother and the best nephew. We expect nothing from you other than khair. Even his enemies think khair of him, subhanallah. That's why mu'min is people, people feel safe with mu'min. So, so Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sent them free. And then Allah says, Wallahu yuhibbu al muhsinin And Allah loves the good doors. Spread, keep going, keep doing good. Anything good, do it, do not regret it. And then Allah says, from the attributes of the pious ones, Allah says, وَالَّذِينَ إِذَا فَعَلُوا فَاحِشَةً أَوْ ظَلَمُوا أَنفُسَهُمْ ذَكَرُوا اللَّهِ ذَكَرُوا اللَّهَ فَاسْتَغْفَرُوا لِذُنُوبِهِمْ Allah says subhanahu wa ta'ala لا إله إلا الله And those when they do something shameful, something evil, they remember Allah and they seek forgiveness. Yeah, a pious person does not mean this person is, cannot make mistake. When we make mistake, 
we hope for Allah's mercy. We don't go into despair. So Allah says, even the pious ones, yes, they do something shameful. They do, some, they do big mistakes. But when they do that, they remember Allah and they seek Allah's forgiveness. In the month of taqwa, let us do the things that make us among the pious ones. Walhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen.